Yeah, I've go ahead, guys. Somebody Google flow in canals and find out that most canals yeah, like have one, yeah, small one, flow in them. You know what a lock is? And we're not talking seen, about. Have you ever seen? A Jesus lock? Christ, guys! We're talking hey, about hey, twenty-seven hey, hey, miles without hey. a lock. Hey, please don't. Lock causes flow. Guys, we're talking about twty-seven miles without locks. Let's pick the middle of that. There's yeah, no locks got, within thirteen flow. miles on you've either side. Water out. How does it flow for thirteen miles if there is deep. no change in elevation? Oh, dear. How? <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> How did you ever How does water server? flow for 13 miles without a change in elevation? What do you mean flow? It's water pressure. He, reckons, he thinks oh. that the canal is flowing because of you the height of the... Ships yeah. on it. Ships causing flow. Jesus Christ. Are you guys are you serious? Seriously. Bar. Really? It's a Has anybody it's gone to the Leeds Liverpool Canal to verify that it doesn't change in elevation across that I'm along that twenty seven miles? Or are you just assuming stream. it? Yes, Have a look in the live stream. Are you assuming? No. Look in the Have live a stream. Look in the live stream. A few he he um he thinks that the the lock show the next picture of Bev that's got flow. 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 That's the that's the canal lock at one end. If you have if you have a body so of water, Alex. If you have a body of water at one end higher, and then you have a level canal, and then a lower level at the other end, and you let the water in from the top, where do you think the water's going to go? It's not going to fill that down. basin until it overflows, is it? It's going to carry on flowing through that until you uh, shut the lock. Twenty-seven down. miles Done. until it reaches the next. Oh yeah. Lock. So how yeah. much momentum does it need to have <laughs> to carry itself for twenty-seven deep. miles? It's what do you think? Water pressure. Water pressure. Do you know what pressure is? How much you're, pressure is you're there? You're talking in, to us, in a like twenty-seven mile stretch. Who, who, who is this? Is this Steve? I have no idea. This no, he, he ain't. He's. Is this, is this I wouldn't from advise Twitter. that. Alex eats paint chips. I hope yeah. they've got lead in them. Yeah, he's, that's Alex. That's Scorpio. The, is it Stephen? Oh, is that Scorpio? Yeah, that's, Stephen. No, that's yeah, Stephen. It's Jones. It's him. Steve? Is that you? Yes, Bev. Oh, cool. So, are you are you here for the um, demonstration or the explanation of a water level? Is that what you came for? No, I know what a water level is. Okay. Do, does it have a shape? It doesn't know where we Do work. Do which type of water level are we talking about, Bevel? The one, the one that it says there. There's a thing in the chat. It says. Um, a water level is any device using the surface of liquid water to establish a horizontal plane of reference. So, any... Yes, a device. A, it's any, not talking about a river, Bevel. It's not talking about a river. It's talking about a device. Yeah, like a canal. That's a no, it's not referring to a canal. It is. Is any device it would it is showing you a surface of liquid water n it is to establish it is a not horizontal plane of reference no no mind, so what, alex what is but it? In no reality, not in yes. not in anybody's mind it is showing yes. a picture of an actual device that is used and the reason why it is separate this is there is so that you can verify a horizontal plane across a distance. Yeah, yeah. It does not yeah, yeah. work with a continued body of water. Oh, because you're looking through optics. Well, is that how? why? No, because you would need yeah, to go and verify that the canal is perfectly horizontal, i.e., yeah, that well, there's no know, elevation change does. over the whole we thing. Know what water does, and the water like lays level, yeah, and it seeks its own level. Yeah? Do you know what 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 level means? I've I've you? said before. It's, yeah, that water you need level. A given that water level. What is the what most is the given point? Measuring horizontal. <laughs> Do you understand that? 
over a, in a local area. No, how can, long? Yes. So, if I, if, so if you got that pipe and you got a three mile piece of pipe, would that change anything? It would, would yeah. Still be level. You would have to verify that those two points are exactly in line horizontally over that three miles. So you'd have to have <laughs> well, you think one would be a device than that can do that. Do you think one would be lower than the other? Do yes you or no? think there would be a difference? Of course do you think there would be a it's difference? Level. Do you know what level means? Do you think one will be lower in elevation than the other one? It will. <laughs> right, you're over. Which, Game over. Which one? Oh, sorry. I'm not saying I shouldn't say in elevation because elevation is a measure which, uh, which, of, which one you know, would above be lower, sea level, Steve, so it stays Steve, level. Steve, which one would be lower? Depends on where you're looking from. If you're from one side, the other side's lower. If you're on the other side, then the other side appears lower. Because remember, oh, on a globe and on Someone the model, you're always at the top. Someone lock him up. <laughs> right. So, like, what if you're in the middle, then? Would they both be lower? <laughs> Depends if you're in the middle. Yeah, if you're, like... If you were in the middle, yeah, if it's a three you miles, would be lower. What? If, oh wow think, <laughs> think upside down thinking that right so if bev, it's a three think, mile pipe think tangent still... no. think tangent listen, bev Steve, think tangent three, three mile pipe you're you're stood in the middle where are the water levels in relation to you bev you know what a tangent is right figure that you are the tangential point on a circle standing in the middle. What's the tangent? Why you know what a circle? tangent is. What? Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Why are we suddenly on a sphere? You circle? could use, you, yeah. fine, you can use a sphere, it doesn't really matter. Why, Why are we Why suddenly use... on a sphere? How do we because use... you're asking, based upon the globe model, No. if no. we are on a globe no, and reality. you're staying in the middle, where would you be? In reality, in reality, oh well, Bev, goodness. you're gonna have to go and figure that you're gonna go have to do it and see what happens in have, reality. Have you seen my test? No, Bev, right. I've asked you for information on your test for a few weeks okay, now, if you I'm, recall, I'm, even I'm just here. yesterday. Yes, I'm fine, and we are here now. But w first of all, we have to establish what a water level will establish but now you've always said already said that the water would be lower at one end which that would mean the water would pour out of it surely you must know bev compared to the other person's observation point that's the difference so which is why i said it depends on where you are i don't does it say anything about that oh look the water level works without the use of sightline. You don't need to look at it from any angle. It establishes... At the local point, yes. But how are you going to see the other three... side that's three miles away, Bev? How are you going to see the other side that's three miles away? You don't need to see it. It's in the description. It's the best point of a water level. It's it what, one would... of the main things that it gets used for because you can't. How see are you corners. going to see to verify that it's a horizontal plane if the other one is three miles away and you can't see it? The water level will be horizontal. Do you not see that? How are you going to show that? How am I going Over to show what that? distance does it say horizontal? Okay. Over what distance? What at what point do you think it would stop being horizontal, please? Depends on the how sensitive the equipment you have it's to just, check it's that. It's just a pipe in it. It's just a pipe with water in it. Like it, it, you don't calibrate them or anything. It's like at what point do you think it would stop being horizontal? But you've already established that you think it, it's lower. So is horizontal a slope? You've seen what horizontal is compared to level. If we are on a globe, level stays level with the surface, and horizontal goes away from you, 
in a straight line which deviates Wait, so from level. Plane. Yeah, well, the horizontal, that's what the water level does. It establishes a horizontal plane of reference. Over what distance? Exactly. I'd say any distance doesn't really matter. Like 27 miles on that canal. Um, Suez well, there is your problem then. 100 miles, doesn't it? How are you going to show that it's perfectly horizontal over the 27 miles? How you can't you can't just assume logic <laughs> logically can you not? No, you can't. No. So, what can you logically describe um, the water level as being then, if not horizontal? Because I I've had say this that again? discussion with a lot of people. Um, if the water level is not horizontal, what is it? Level? Yeah, the water level. If water level is not horizontal, what is it? Because level, level. means horizontal. No, level does not mean horizontal. What does level mean then, please? You, Remember might, what we talked about some, before, Bevel, you that have some you need citations, might, yeah? Need that given point that I've talked to you about before. So what what is a point in, in that we use to determine level? What what is a point in mathematics, please? Where is level in mathematics? Pardon? Sorry, can you show me the definition of level in geometry? It, horizontal. It's the practical use of the word. Horizontal. No. If it doesn't use level in geometry, you can't just say, well, this means level. They it's not there, Bev. Horizontal they use in for geometry. Great. It doesn't say level. So you can't in geometry just say level is horizontal because I think so. <laughs> okay. Go on then. What, what's your then? What's your definition so level, of level then, please? We need that given point that helps us to determine can you, level. Can you what you is that given point, explain Bev? Explain to me what a point is, and then I'll I'll give you a I'll give you a clue. Given. Well, you know what a point is. Do I? Remember, you struggled that with that question I asked you on Twitter yesterday, where I had points A and B, <laughs> and you failed to answer that question. All right. So, what is this? How you get out of not knowing what a point is? <laughs> what the point I'm... is? No. Do you want me to explain then? Thing to determine is? level. Should we have a look? If you get... See what Euclid says. Yeah. What is flat? Or what is flat Earth used to determine level? That's a good question. Well, we use the reality definitions. Oh, it's the first one. Euclid's Elements, uh, Book One, yeah. definitions. First one, a point is that which has no parts or which has no magnitude. Right? So, it's nothing. The point is nothing. So, what was the rest of and the definition? Sorry. So, wait a second. You're using Euclid's elements to define the real-world application on the globe? <laughs> of the globe? What globe? Well, Bev, Model. if you use something level, how does your device, what is it referencing to ensure that that is level? I.e., what is the given point? What's on that? on flat earth is it is it the ground are you saying it's level in relation to the ground what what was the rest of the definition what can you read us that definition out again please bev i'm asking you a specific question yeah and you said something about it, a point i defined a point for you and it so is, i'm asking you on which has no parts so it's a nothing. It's, it's nothing even. I mean, it's one less than a line, isn't it, in geometry? 
what is level? How do you know something is level, Bev? What is it in relation to on flat Earth? It's horizontal. It's in a very, very precise position. Call that horizontal. Is the is the ground of the Earth horizontal? To uh, vertical. Is the ground of the Earth horizontal? The ground? No, it's wibbly wobbly, and it? it's mountains and valleys on the Earth bit. The water is level. Fact. It's, I put a thing what in, is... the, uh, in the chat there. It says um, the because of Euclidean's geometry, fundamental status in mathematics, it is impractical to give more than a representative sampling of applications. Oh, number one. A surveyor uses a level. As suggested by the etymology of the word, one of the earliest reasons for interest in geometry was surveying. Certain practical results from Euclidean geometry, such as the right angle property of the 345 triangle, were used long before they were proved formally. Fundamental types of measurements in Euclidean geometry are distances and angles, both of which can be measured directly by a surveyor. Oh, there's an interesting one. That so I, interesting. I forgot you still haven't been able to answer this. How do you draw a triangle with three right angles? You don't. Because oh, triangles... yes, you can only have 180 degree internal angles in so are you reality. saying it's impossible are you saying it's impossible and do severe do spheres not exist in reality are you talking about surveyors Stephen? i'm asking you do spheres exist in reality uh, yes then Take a sphere, draw three 90-degree angles, and join them, uh, and voila, sorry, you have sorry, a triangle. Sorry, Stephen. Was that, did you say three 90-degree angles? Correct. Three right angles. Ah, well, for an angle, you need two straight lines, don't you? That would be three straight lines. No, two, to two make a triangle for, for an angle and three straight lines for a triangle yes but that would be 180 degrees triangle on it? on a sphere draw three right angles you can't, join them all together to make a triangle you can't draw three right angles angles with right angles with sorry curves. yes you can I absolutely can and stuff like that i'm sick and tired of it i'm a pilot there's not a curve never seen a curve oh, i've flown over know. 30 years of my life you know we're just so, doing no, now we're just sorry. doing geometry we're now we're no no spinning we're ball giving him no a you can here. it's okay no i'm giving you a lesson bev get a sphere draw three right angles and join them together can and we, you will have a we, triangle. We both have a look at an angle, a definition of an angle or something, and see. Should I show you a picture of three right angles making a triangle, Bev? Well, would the right angles be on the um, plane on the inside, like as though it's a cut through it, and not actually be on the curved bit on the outside? Or what? Do you not know how spherical geometry works? Steve? Those are internal angles, Yeah, Bev. Straight, straight lines, right? S straight lines, yeah. three 90-degree okay. angles, three so, right angles, so and they make a triangle. Yeah, so you're willing to admit that you need a straight line in order to measure an angle, right? Can I get no. a yes? No, you going, don't. You go, I'm going to have to go and have a look for uh, a definition of an angle. 
and go. Right, see, let's see if you see if you can find one where you can measure an angle with the curve, please. And I'll I'll have a look. See if I can find one. Uh, space within two lines. Oh, do you know what a line is in geometry, mathematics? There you go, Bev. There's three right angles uh, making like a triangle. Yeah, it looks like you've cut a bit on the inside there. So it's from like a straight bit on the inside of it, surely. No, that's just showing you so then it's easier to see. So there you go. You three right angles make a triangle. You, no, you can't have an angle without two straight lines. You need two yes, straight you lines can. to measure the angle. Sorry, Bev. Is that what well, like you're just sort of claiming that? How how where do you measure an angle from then? Because surely if you're going up against the curved line, that angle will differ the further away you get, right? Logically, right? You the angle is only measured at the point of intersection. You should know that. Not, that's not a protractor or protractor works. You measure it out at the edge of the protractor, don't you? You put the little no, if you're measuring center. perpendicular, you measure it where they intersect, do you not? Perpendicular meaning two straight lines, right? No perpendicular meaning uh, the lines meet at a ninety degree angle. Yeah, two lines, two straight lines. You no, have... your defin your definition there only gives you the definition when you have two straight lines. It does not you, say that it, this it cannot does, occur in any it other does instances. Say two straight lines within the definition. It's giving you when two straight lines intersect this way, it is a right angle. So therefore, they are perpendicular, which means any two lines that intersect at a right angle. They have to be straight. No, they do not have to be straight. Of course they do. They do not. Seriously, dude. Seriously. Right, so you've got water that goes downhill while staying horizontal, and you also have, what, non-straight lines in your definition. Because this is Euclid's definition number 10. When a straight line standing on another straight line. Right, that's, he's already mentioned two straight lines. Bev, he's saying when you have this instance, so when you have a straight line sitting on another straight line, it's this. It's, it's not saying that perpendicular has to be in this. No, it is not. That's what you're not understanding. <laughs> what? Correct. That's what you're not understanding. Where if it doesn't say in there that the lines cannot be curved or it cannot occur in this situation or it cannot so, occur when this is happening. how to form a perpendicular within geometry? Two lines at a 90 degree angle, making you, a right angle, yes. they are perpendicular. Do you know how to form a perpendicular within geometry? There's a few different ways. Do you know any of them? What I have shown you on that main main page <laughs> that no. are three lines that are perpendicular, not straight, <laughs> because they are on the surface of a sphere. Now, a sphere is an object in is a geometric shape. It works just fine. You, you can take a look at the definition yeah. of perpendicular. Uh, excuse me, you, excuse me, but that's not on the surface. That's on the inside of what you showed us. That's on the inside. No, it's on the surface, Marlena. The straight it's lines not. that you see there are inside. Yes, it is. It's on the surface. <laughs> it is. You take a look again, Marlena. Decided. This isn't that difficult to understand. I did. I did. Can I just get it? Like, who do you humor me? Count how many lines you see on there. 
Who, Count how many lines you see on there and let us know. Who, who, who are you talking for? Are you, is just you, right? You're not globe defending here at all, are you? You're just defending your the model just, that you have, but not for any. No, we're just talking that. about perpendicular, Bev. Okay. And it is two straight lines meeting at right angles. Okay. You, you that understand. does make perpendicular. That does make perpendicular, but it right. doesn't mean that other situations it, yes, it are does. not perpendicular. It does, because no, it have, means that any time you have two lines intersecting each other, forming a 90 degree or right angle, they are, by definition, perpendicular. Okay, but you are aware of all of the... Um... Call them axioms to keep you happy, or do you want to call them postulates, whatever, of Euclidean geometry, aren't you? Talking about perpendiculars here, Bev. Yeah, well, one of them in particular, is the axioms, is fundamental within that, and that is that all right angles are equal. Okay. Which they are. They're all 90 degrees. Yes, they have to be, don't they, to be equal. So if you were to curve Correct. one of the lines, like it, they wouldn't be equal, would they? Because the ones at the top edge would have a bigger angle than the ones underneath, depending on which line you curve, right? So that, again... It's simple, Bev. Prove... It's, it's really simple. If they do not meet at a 90-degree angle, then they are not perpendicular. It's that simple. They but if they do, they are. Straight lines proved by the all right angles are equal axiom, though, isn't it? That, that doesn't prove... No, not at all. <laughs> of course it does. It's not... It doesn't prove that at all. As long it's they're all equal, meaning they're all ninety degrees. Yeah. So if it's ninety degrees, it's perpendicular. It's a right angle. Yeah, with straight lines. Doesn't need to be straight lines. It has to be straight lines, otherwise you can't have mm. all right angles equal because there's four within um, a circle. No, there's right? not four within a circle. No, there wouldn't be four, four at ninety. Two of them make 180, two of them together make 360. There has to be four, and they all have to be equal, to, according to Euclidean at, geometry. He's a genius, Euclid. At the, in, at the intersection point. That's it. <laughs> no. Yes. If it's only at the point that they touch, Bev, that's in your definition. Do, do you know how to form... A perpendicular within geometry. Right. You call up your definition that you're using. It says two straight lines when they meet or stand on each other, meaning at the point of intersection, when they make a 90 degree angle or right angle, they are perpendicular. So all we're dealing with here is the point when those lines intersect each other. If it makes a 90 degree angle, it is perpendicular by definition. Doesn't matter if they're curved or not. Do you know, like, I'm assuming that you haven't really looked at the axioms or anything, but it's in number two. I'm assuming, Bev, that you don't know how to universally apply those. Universally apply them? You don't need to. They're, these are the axioms. That's why they're there. You know, if rules. you don't know how to apply them, you're, Bev, you're that assuming, is a big issue. Excuse me. You're assuming. So, assuming no. If you let's go just, through, if you not, go, let's not, let's not assume. Okay. Let's deal with facts. Okay. Well, let, we let's... won't assume then. We'll show the post where Pev, Bev was asked to identify on a. Draw, yes, and he was unable to. So I'm not assuming he actually does not know how to apply. Postulates of Euclidean geometry number two is that a terminated straight line may be produced to any length in a straight line. So your point of intersection can be, um, let's call that a terminated straight line, may be produced to any length in a straight line so you're like 
your 90 degree right angle, all right angles being equal, um, again, Euclid, he's got you, mate. Not me. These, no, these he doesn't. Yeah, yeah. He, d he If it's not a straight line we're dealing with, then I guess that postulate doesn't apply. How hard is that to understand? Well, um, that any circle... Bev, seriously! Any circle may be described from any centre and any distance from that centre. Right? That's how you describe a circle. He's got you on that one, too. No, not at all. Bev, like, really, you're trying really hard here, I'm and trying. it's I just not it. working. You are. You're, you are misapplying everything here. You are trying to universally apply it into every situation, and it geometry, doesn't man. work. It's Euclidean geometry. What have you got? Yeah. And so what? Other forms of geometry are invalid? Is that what you're saying? Which form? I don't know. Non-Euclidean geometry? Is it What's that? fake? What's that? Is non-Euclidean geometry fake? It's not Euclidean geometry. I know that. Is that all you know about is it? In, is it invalid? <laughs> what is it? I'm asking you, are you saying that anything outside of Euclidean geometry is invalid? <laughs> Euclidean geometry is the geometry of reality, right? I can Bev, tell are you, you saying I that geometry any the definitions of geometry Euclidean? I can give you the axioms, the postulates. I can tell you what it's called. All you seem to be able to do is say, "Not that." No, Please. I'm giving you examples where you're wrong. Go on, then. Which, which Are you saying you that I showed you in chat how you use three 90-degree angles to make a triangle what's on that? a sphere? What's that? What sort of geometry What do you that? mean, what's that? What sort of geometry are you talking about? Bev, is a sphere a geometric shape? <laughs> uh, yeah, and a Euclidean solid. So it's a, it's a valid geometric shape. Perfect. Yes. So we're dealing with geometry. Euclidean. Thank you. So I'm glad we've established that now. So now what is your issue with it? <laughs> Weren't you arguing against Euclidean geometry a second ago? I can't remember. Not arguing why. against it. I'm asking you if you think that any form of geometry that falls outside of Euclidean geometry is fake or invalid? I think it's not Euclidean geometry. So you're unwilling to say it's invalid. So <laughs> that means in order for you to apply everything, you're going to need to know geometry outside of Euclidean. Why? Because you just said it's not invalid. Sorry, that sounds like a bit of... Uh, I think you might be getting confused. I asked you if you said it was invalid, and all you could say was it's not, it's not Euclidean. Euclidean. That's what you said as well. You said that's exactly what you said it was called. Is, is it invalid? It's not Euclidean geometry. Is it invalid? Is it invalid to say that it is Euclidean geometry, or is it invalid to say that it is not Euclidean geometry? There's a lot valid. of logic involved, involved in Euclidean geometry, you know. If you're not going to say it's invalid, then we're going to have to assume that you agree that it's valid. Which, which geometry would you be talking about? Bev, really? You want to play games? No, I'm just asking you. I, I can, like I say, I can no, find... you're. Euclidean You're geometry. playing a game. I can show people how to draw circles and do make perpendiculars. I can prove um, Pythagoras' theorem. I can show you the bridge of asses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
We can do all of that with Euclidean geometry. I'm just asking you, please, define the geometry that you say isn't the definable Euclidean geometry. Quite simple. S sorry, d say that again? <laughs> say that again. Define the, define the geometry that is Euclid. Well, no, you cut out. What did you say? I said I can define Euclidean geometry. All I'm asking you to do is to define and tell me which geometry isn't Euclidean that you're talking about. Have you got a mate type in there for you? Have you, have we, you got your help for? No, I'm actually in my office. So if you hear me typing, it's because I'm in my office responding to messages. Uh, as well as doing this. So you, do you want to talk about spherical geometry? Is that what Ooh, you're you saying? Oh, you found a geometry, have you? No, so, Bev. I was, I was trying to be very general saying non-Euclidean. So everything that is not Euclidean geometry. Okay. So you want to talk about spherical geometry then, do you? For what purpose? Is non-Euclidean geometry valid or invalid? For what purpose? Not It's not really valid for surveying purposes because they use Euclidean geometry and that's what we're talking about, isn't it? Really? We, weren't we talking why, about why the water is, level? And the, you know, the surveying do you know, Why do they separate? How to prove. Why do they separate surveying? Why is whatever you were looking up... Um, surveying only work for 260 square kilometers and then outside of that it doesn't work. Why is that? <laughs> they do, it doesn't work. What? What do you say? It doesn't work. Where's the? Where's this area that you're talking about? Where's it start? Look up the definition that you posted on. You posted it on Twitter. You should have the definition yeah. handy. Like projects, anything under 260 square kilometers is plain surveying right and it doesn't work when you go past that why is that well, i don't know there's not many projects that go past 260 square kilometers i, I wouldn't know they just S certainly start oh, you, again wouldn't you wouldn't know which other project that they do they, it, like basically if you've got a tool when... right if you've got a tool and you're looking at angles and distances then you are using euclidean geometry now that is plane surveying so if you're using a tool or a measure or a, you know a level or a theodolite or anything like that then you are going to be using euclidean geometry as just described in the um, euclidean definitions of what euclidean geometry is actually used for practical purposes fine let's that's that's a great segue into what tools you have for your test. Uh, water levels, like just hose pipes. The really we've showed you before what a water level is. How how many do you have, and how long are each of them? Well, that that was the question that we need to start discussing. I mean, we can make it. I was thinking two miles. What about you? How 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 long do you reckon? Have you seen the way, way my test works? Have you ever seen it? Uh, I believe I did, and I, I believe I did anyway. Should I put it up again on the thing? Yeah, sure, put it up. Okay, right. so I've, got, I've made a new adjustment to it just recently. Um, where is it? So did you see the last one where we have two water levels going from... Um, well, we have one that goes across the full distance. Can't even find it. I drew it the other day. Um, does anyone else know where it is? I should really have it, shouldn't I? Save somewhere. Right, well, you have a, a long... <laughs> you have one, let's say two miles long, right? So you have a one that's two miles two miles long and but 
you think that goes downhill, don't you? So what happens no. in the basically the question would be is if the water level can you imagine that it's horizontal or it's level at least and the level equalizes can can we come to a equilibrium understanding yeah yeah i know how water level works right so so over the 2 miles you've just got the vials at either end Yeah, and both, and, and there's where the problem lies, is both of those, because of the individual people standing on those each side, so one person at two miles on one side, one person at two miles on the other side, yeah. both of those, they're going to be level for each of them. The problem is measuring the horizontal from one side to the other side. Right, so the middle... Right? to do that the middle's the problem isn't it yeah well it, it's like, it is or it isn't i mean that's the thing you can define you can do this multiple ways right it all depends on the equipment that you're going to have with you okay so we, like if you have a but what you're saying is like you it's okay to say that each end would be leveled together but there's a problem somewhere you need to know if it's horizontal now it's in the middle that is the problem, isn't there? Because you you need a curve, right? So in the middle of those two, do you, would you imagine that it gets higher? No, it would be, if you take a look on the surface, what I said to you before is let's presume that the middle the line across a circle and it's touching the surface. So it's the tangent. So that means that if the middle is touching the two ends are raised off the same as a tangential line on a circle if you know what i mean right well do you want to have a look in the chat because this is it's my updated test right so the the black one is a water level that goes from one end to the other and then i've added a nice little clever t-junction bit in the middle there and that also comes out so the water level across them three the black ones would be equalized right you'd 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 say that's fine wouldn't you yeah it's just what other equipment are you going to use to see, well you see you the, know view it from all locations you see the two red bits the the two red water levels they, they're completely independent of each other and the black water level. So they're est establishing their own horizontal plane. Now, in order for all of them to be horizontal, they all have to be on a straight line. Now, what's shown in that picture, I predict the practical use of a water level would be dictated by like the canal underneath there now i'd say you could do that with the hose pipe or pipes or whatever at any length and it would always show they're on the same horizontal plane because that's what water level is it's horizontal would you agree with that or would you like to throw up um your own hypothesis on how that would work on your model the problem is what we've mentioned to you before is horizontal is essentially a local measurement so each individual point would be horizontal where they stand but not horizontal to each of the other ends you're obviously you're not gonna looking need... at the black one look at the black one i'm looking at the black one right it's two miles long you got three upstands and they will all form a level over the course of two miles you're talking about a 16 inch drop between the one in the middle and the ones at either end 
What eight miles to each side? What what forces work on the water to make sure that there's equilibrium? <laughs> really? Oh my life! Yeah, because <laughs> you're going to have a problem, and that's why you still need other equipment to verify this than to look from either end. Geometry, mate. You've got a problem, Not mate. Us. You. No, you actually have to verify that across the entire length, which means well, you need we, another put, tool like a sight tool. We should put another two levels in the middle to make sure that that bit that we've missed out there, that bit isn't where the curve is. No, we? each person and each point, each yeah, station, can, whatever you want to call it, have, is going to be level. People stood there. We'll have one at each end. Do you want to come, DP? Do you want to stand at one of the ends of these water levels and have a look at it? Because Hell yeah. Stephen here thinks something Hell, might happen yeah, yeah. if you're not looking at I'm, it. I'm sure spot on would be up for it as well. Yeah. So, do you... Are you going to get a theodolite? I've got a level. Yeah, I've got one. No, a theodolite. <laughs> Wait, a Rent one, one, Bev. Rent one. Uh, what's up with a level? Rent the theodolite. What's what's up with the level? Why don't you rent a theodolite? What is wrong with the level? Are you sort of levelist? A level? Yeah. Man, it is on a local. It's a local measurement. Hence, why whoever said I'm in construction, being it, you measure level all along. The line that you're laying to make sure it's level in every point. Yeah, and water. You eat excuse me, water is the most accurate form of leveling. Go and look on Wiki. Uh, yeah. Horizontal. Pardon? The problem is, Bev, you are assuming that water is horizontal. Well, it, that's what it says. It's a tool for establishing a horizontal plane. So, yeah, it best, it best have been. you saying it's not. Uh, and, right, so you're going to need to verify that it is horizontal if you want to assume it is. You can't just assume. It's practically used as such, you muppet. Well, are you saying Over it what isn't? distance, Bev? Over what distance? Um, well, I say for any distance. What do you say? And that's the problem. You can't just assume that and say it is. You need to go measure. The problem is you don't seem to say anything, do you? You can't say where that, that known fact ends. And that's a problem for you. So I'm saying that we can't say right now that it is horizontal. We can't say that it isn't horizontal. <laughs> you need to go and measure to verify whether it's one way or the other. No, we can say it is horizontal. Yeah, it's no, you can't easy. say it is yeah. horizontal. Yeah, yeah. It's an assumption. <laughs> no, it's no. For... no, standing water yes. is horizontal. Yes, it's, it's an assumption. Well, you can't just say, oh, no, that water is perfectly horizontal over 27 miles because I just say it is. Okay, do you want to... Um, so you need to measure. Do you want to... Do you want a geometric proof? You can't geometrically prove that water is horizontal when you can't geometrically prove what shape the water is sitting on. <laughs> what? You don't need to bother on. what the shape the water is sitting on, do you? Because the water's level. Is water, sitting it's sitting in a it. container. <sighs> sitting on. <laughs> Can you just have a look in the chat? It's just coming through here now. See that? Can you see that? Can you? Yeah, I can see that. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? It's obviously something incriminating, Bev. Mm. For him, I mean. Quick. Who have you got on side there, Steve? Who, who is it? Who's helping you? Is it the main surveyor? Is it Jeff? Or maybe Jesse? 
Who's, no, I'm not talking to anybody. I'm uh, responding who, to a couple your messages. Boy? Who's your boy? It's a dumpy. It's a dumpy. Level. <laughs> yeah, I've got level one. and horizontal. Level and horizontal. How are you going to prove that they're the same thing? How am I going to prove that level and horizontal are the same thing? I'm, Correct, send, since you're making the assumption that they are. Can I send you to a building site anyway? You can puff your chest around and shout that out a few times. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and he get pointed at and laugh. Let's... <laughs> they would all point at him and laugh. How the hell Seriously. do you prove that level is horizontal? Oh, my word. Come on, Steve. Over can, what distance, Bev? Over what distance are we talking about? Are we talking geometrically? Because I will refer you to number postulate number two of Euclidean geometry. Bev, if, if the measurement of the Earth and the radius is correct, over what distance can you assume horizontal is reasonably do you horizontal? Know, do you know, earlier when we went on, we said the etymology of the word geometry. Do you... Do you understand it? You break it down into little bits. Yeah, but do you understand how there's more comes from different words? I asked you that on Twitter. You didn't seem to know. I, you broke up there. Sorry, I couldn't hear what you said. I, I said, are you aware that there is more than one person saying that the definition or the founding words for geometry are different than the one that you posted on Twitter. Uh, what was the what was the other definition? Of? I'll I'll tell you mine. It's geo, earth, metra measurement, earth measurement. What what's your definition, please? The other one, or one of multiple other ones. You can give us a couple if you want. Because I give it to you that um, vertical is by given by a plumb bob, which is um, defined by a plumb bob, which is a tool separate from a level, which is a horizontal. Horizontal and a right lev a vertical are perpendicular to each other. What what's your issue with people showing you that plumb lines are not parallel over? Well, they're not parallel. What what's your issue with it? Do you do you think it's okay? I think it's just fine. You, you're, you're fine having a one. But you don't have another definition. You don't, oh, hang on, Dave. I know, yeah. Bev, I'm, I'm still waiting for his other definition oh, of geometry. Sorry, no. Bev, what was your, read your definition <laughs> again of geometry? Geo. Well, you just saw, you, you sidestepping that one, aren't you? No, I was off. I had my headphones yeah, off. I was dealing with something from work. I'll, I'll get you a thing. Well, can you keep your head in the conversation, do you think? No, he's busy. When, when no, some of us work for a living. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what's, what sort of a job are you uh, doing there, Steve? What a clown. Well, you wouldn't happen to be a surveyor, would you? Yeah, no, he's putting on his clown makeup. Can't be. Can't no, be a surveyor, not a surveyor. Can you? You're talking to a surveyor, though, are you? you got a surveyor on the line. No, I'm, I'm not talking to a surveyor, and I'm not a surveyor. And you're a carer, so I don't know why that's relevant. Ooh, see, you've been... Checking up on me, have you? Anyway, read your definition again, if you wouldn't mind. Which one? Geometry. Have a look. It's in the chat. You read it out. And then you, you put yours up and I'll read yours out. Deal? You do mine and I'll do yours. I've put two up there. Probably uh, saying the same sort of thing, but one of them's like a, a, a the official etymology. The other one's just yeah. No, I don't know why they can't stuff. agree on on the things for this. What? 
why you can't agree with it. No, I don't disagree with it. I'm saying I can't understand why there's all these different they all essentially mean the same, but why we can't just come up with one definition? Why it you has to be metria? And, and I don't know. People metria. Mess, yeah, people mess about with words, don't they? Latin, Greek. Who, who really Indeed cares? They do. We've just ended up with English. The one world language, yeah. Right, so... Yeah, Do but it, the problem with where's, English, where's we've seen there's where's a million, like one of them? million definitions for one. Do, yes. do you have Do you have a definition, or not? No, I was just saying that I oh, can't so you don't, understand you don't have why we can't now. agree. You, you, you don't have the definition you claim to have. We'll be ready to make it. Is, is that what you're saying? I, uh, George, were you listening? George. Well, you said you don't like, have a definition don't you, after claiming to have. Why don't you take the headphones off, George? Since you're obviously not listening, you claim to have a different definition, and now you're saying it you was read out. George, take your head out of your ass. I didn't hear anybody read anything out. Listening. Who read it? There's something wrong there. I did. Is this a triggered person? You mung. You read it out in your head. Yeah, I think he did read it out in his head. Can you read it out again? Because I missed it. George, what are you going to contribute to this can conversation? You, can you read it? Can you read it out again? Because I missed it. He's George, what are you going like to contribute to George. this conversation? Can I? Can you read it out again? Because I missed it. George, what are you going to contribute to this conversation? Can you read it out conversation? again? Because I George. missed it. Well, that's wonderful, George. I suggest you pay more attention next time. Would you? Now, what are you going to add to the again? conversation? George, as as, what are you going you to give your, your Georgie you boy? To have, hey, Georgie no, boy. Have. Hey, come on, guys. Georgie hey, boy, man. what are you going to lend to the conversation? Oh, dear. Really? You guy? Come on. We, no. We, we're meant no. to be learning here, aren't we, mm. Steve? And I don't um, see what the issue is with the name George, to be honest. I think. I like distortion. Do you want to talk about it? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody claims so to have George, a definition. A diff yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You like said you were on uh, construction before. Steve no, it wasn't me. A bit triggered. It wasn't me. No, it was me. Yeah, yeah. No, so what I said, George, was it doesn't make sense that we have different words yeah, like... And Metrian is to have oh, a different I definition. I just said it, George. Right. Anyway, it doesn't really matter because Jesus, geometry, fuck, George. Geometry. Right, Ooh, who's triggered? Is he? Yeah, he's, it's basic logic <laughs> formed into a geometry to so they could understand reality, and they came up with some pretty damn interesting facts. From just drawing circles and straight lines. That right. they did. Euclidean geometry. It's one of the finest axiomatic systems ever. Ever. And if you understand that and the fundamentals of it, you should understand basic logic and how yes, reality Beth. works. And you should understand that there would be no non euclidean Euclidean forms of geometry. Why? Because there wouldn't need to be. What, beyond the realms of reality? Bev, what is the reason that we have non-Euclidean geometry? Because you need to go beyond the realms of reality. You need to be able no. to stand outside of infinity and look at it. Truth. No, not truth. Are you talking about hyperbole? Non Euclidean geometry, right? No, you're being pretty specific. Yeah, it's, well, absolute geometry, then you've, you've got to be talking about hyperbolic or, or Euclidean. There's only two, really, isn't there? So, why? No, there's elliptic geometry. <laughs> So I'm asking, why do we have non-Euclidean geometry if Euclidean was all-encompassing? Well, it's what surveyors use for reality. So if you want to go beyond 
reality, then you need geometry to do that. Right? Sorry, did you answer the question of why yeah, I did. tree if Euclidean was all encompassing? I did really well. Did you not hear it? So can we get back to the reality of the water level test that we're on here? Or are you trying to go sure. to sort of non Euclidean um excuses for something that's we're dealing with in No, I I wanted to know what kind of tool you're going to be using so that you could verify from you. one it's end like to the just, next that it's, it's going to be very clever horizontal. arrangement of water levels that establish horizontals. But, uh, and you add that to geometry, and then you have to have a horizontal straight line because that's what a horizontal is. You're going to need to deal with the fact that there are forces and equations that deal with the water in your water level and yep. what that means for each of those water levels in their, at their local, uh, at each location that they're at. I think it's you that's so, going to have to deal with it. So hold on. If, if we, are you saying if we put, say we put numbers on the side of each tube on the water level, are you thinking that on a globe, if one side was at number seven, that the other side should be at a different number? No, look. Look at thingy. You've got a uh, M win, M, M, uh, Yodma. Um, we, are you saying that the different numbers on the houses at the uh, things should be a different... number is no that, is that what you're saying are you no equate into the little no thing i'm not side? it's got a line going across it are, are you saying that you no. would have one or is that because um um yodma is in the middle that they're both at the same no. height that because what they're, i'm they're saying equidistant from the person if say so each point was them. at number at each side was at number seven that you're going to say, therefore, they're horizontal. That's, I guess that's what I'm asking. Yeah, it's the water level. That's what the, the, the water within the tube would equalize to establish a horizontal frame of reference. Yes, that's what a water level does. Do, do you not agree? I don't disagree. Oh, okay. well, but the fine, water then. level, well, what, what are the forces? So the water level what is horizontal. Is, Brilliant. What is, act, what is acting on that, Bev? What makes it, Well, what causes equilibrium between see, those two? Imagine. What causes end, equilibrium? Right, it's, it's a horizontal line, right? So can you imagine dropping a plumb line at one end of that horizontal frame of reference? It will... Would it be perpendicular to that horizontal frame of reference of the water level? At the local location, yeah, it would yeah, be. Just at one end. Off in the distance, it would not. No, but if you went to the other end and dropped a, a vertical, you know, like a plumb bob, would that be uh, perpendicular to the horizontal frame of reference that the water level would have had, do you reckon? At that local location, right, but okay. not one mile away at the other end. In the middle, though, as well, and then you got a plumb bob, and would it be perpendicular to the horizontal frame of reference that the water level would be? None of them would be parallel to each other, Bev. <laughs> you just said two of them were perpendicular. We nearly got you on the No, I said, they're per I said they're perpendicular locally, but it's not frame of perpendicular to the other end. It's all, all the way across is a horizontal frame of reference from one end to the other. That's what we... That's what, we that's what you have to measure across. and that's what you have to verify. And how are you going to do that? By my little water level test with the extra bits in the middle. It would show that there is no rise do it in across the that distance. How big a distance should we do before we could find it out? Or I, I think yours is fine, but what are you going to do to view across that distance? You say we've got... DP says he's going to stand at one end and Spot On will stand at the other, or maybe Sleeping Warrior but might want to come. Bev, 
if the water line is at seven at one side and the water line is at seven at the other side and the equation to do with the equilibrium in those tubes involves gravity because then there's no there's it, no equation spot on at all have you heard of a, an equation for a water level uh yeah there are i showed it to you on twitter really yes i did Which, go on then show us it again like an equation for using a water level a, an the equation tool. for why the water equal reaches equilibrium and how it moves among from side to side just that involves an equation the movement of those fluids involves an equation really it just it equalizes it. finds a horizontal condition isn't it that and that's your problem, Bev. What? That's your problem. What is it? You're using a device that uses gravity, and everything you can look into it, it well, uses gravity. Well, and if gravity, if the Earth and globe model is just, correct, hey, you, hey, gravity no, comes no, no. to the center of the Earth. You, so in each local area, they are going to be level, but not level to each other, and that's what you need to verify. So what are you going to use? Perpendicular to horizontal. What is your definition uh, of gravity? That's irrelevant. No, it's not irrelevant at all. What it is, is irrelevant. Gravity? Absolutely irrelevant. What no, it is? No, it's not irrelevant at all. Okay, it's, tell me you're why it's not re why it's not irrelevant. It, so you're using it and claiming it. So define what it is. It's irrelevant. <laughs> Is if it, it's irrelevant, it, then gravity does not matter. Thank you, you for the it up, thank you no, for that concession. It's thank you for it's that irrelevant. concession. I'll use thank that. you for you the look at the equation. If you look no at the equation, if you look at the equation, just conceded. It's irrelevant. Gravity doesn't matter why we have gravity or how you want to define gravity. It is there. It affects the fluids. It's irrelevant, isn't it? I no. He asked me. You know, definition is irrelevant. is irrelevant. No, it's he irrelevant, asked for the definition, said. which I said is irrelevant. Yeah, well, I said the said definition was irrelevant. Define Beth. gravity. I or said call the it irrelevant. Which one is it? Are you calling it irrelevant or no, defining it? The, Please define the your definition, definition of gravity. The definition, the definition as we are talking to it now is irrelevant. It doesn't matter what the definition is. It doesn't even matter it, the then? explanation as what, to why we it? have gravity please in this give context. Please your definition of gravity so we understand what you're talking about, please. Yeah. The definition is irrelevant in this case. <laughs> okay, it's irrelevant. That's what gravity so, is. So, therefore, gravity is irrelevant. The you definition is equation. irrelevant. You cannot bring How it into your equation. How does it matter? You cannot How bring does it, it matter? Your, you cannot bring it into your The equation, equation is there. there. It's if already you there. By your own it words. is already it's there. Keep your voice down, mate. I'm what? sorry. The equation is already there. Okay, it's irrelevant. It's not is it? So, come on. Define which gravity you were using. Which gravity is that? What you just said? Define which define which gravity I'm using? Oh come on! Really? Is that what you said? Which yeah, gravity? Squirm a bit. Squirm Ooh. a bit on which gravity? Which I gravity? Quite, I quite like to know which one. Yeah. Oh, does somebody want to let me know what different forms of gravity you think but there are, you not or you know? think we say they are? Oh my goodness. Well, There's one gravity, your... guys. Who's the which one? Gravity. gravity. Which one? Newtonian which one? gravity or Einstein? No, I, 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 curious. Please bring don't, forward don't your. Don't give it away. Oh, you're leading. <laughs> he was struggling. Okay, so even... If you, if no, you no, take no, a look at until you. you so, um, is it not irrelevant now? Out. Is gravity no longer irrelevant or is it irrelevant? Which is it? The definition is irrelevant. No, the definition isn't irrelevant. Otherwise, gravity yes, is irrelevant in the your de equation. The definition is irrelevant. Then so is your equation. 
No, the measure of gravity would be relevant in this case. No, no, no. The definition. Yes, yes, yes. You can use a different term if you want. Let's use a different term. Are you afraid of defining which gravity you're using and why you're using it? Please define it. No, I'm not afraid. It's in the equation. You can call it something well, else if, it, if well, you want. If it doesn't equation, take it out of the equation. If it's in the equation, define it. Like I'm sorry, but if you can't define it, then... Oh, sorry. Uh, okay, as it's in the equation, perfect. 9.8 meters per second squared. What's that, for water? Is that so it, that isn't gravity, that's acceleration. Now, please define which version of gravity you're using. So when we're putting gravity into equations, we use the constant acceleration for no, gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared. Irrelevant. I agree. We're talking about it in terms of an equation. I'm glad you agree that gravity is irrelevant. No, the definition is irrelevant in this case. in a minute. You sure are a charlatan. I think it's Jeff, you know. I think it's the main surveyor. Typical bowler. Yeah, bowlers. no. Typical bowlers, though, the definition, they? They don't you... Model. Don't know it. No, we're okay, still Okay, what part of the model waiting. don't we know, George? We're still waiting for your definition of gravity. We're still waiting for you to define... And we were talking about gravity, gravity in equation, which... Last time I checked, an equation doesn't have the de definition. Is there an equation for a bum your, bob? Does it have yeah. I said the definition is the relevant with how we're using it. With this. Must if it's irrelevant, gravity. it's irrelevant. Yeah, absolutely. The must. definition irrelevant in terms of we were using. It's not hard mm. to understand. Defi define which gravity you're using. You're still using it. So why are you unable to define which one it is? Can I. Can because it doesn't a... need to be defined when we're using it in an equation. Can I because, offer up a definition? Because, because... For like a we're definition. using the measure of gravity a, as a, a on the Earth like a and how it affects different Go on. matter. Do you want to let me? It's only one word. It's pretty easy. Go on, define it. I'll, do you want me to go? I'll go first. Vertical. <laughs> we... What? Vertical. What about vertical? That's my definition of what you call gravity. I, I, I define it geometrically. That's, that's the way I look at things. Would you disagree? I'm making a brew. Back in a minute. No, I wouldn't disagree. And let's... The sphere I put in the chat there. How would you define vertical? He's making a cup of tea. Did you want to define it as on that sphere? Of what vertical is? Aren't we still waiting for your definition of gravity? Which which one is you want to use? I was using it in equation. Therefore, oh, we're, we're the... waiting for things from you for everything you say. Actually, thinking about it, everything you say, you can't back up, George. So this is an opinion. I so said it's in an giving, equation, George. You're giving opinions. I said it's in an equation, George. So you're, you're I said opinion. it's in an equation. You, you're not I said it's in an, an equation, okay, okay. George. All right. Why are we using so, an equation in for reality anyway? It's an equation. It doesn't tell us. Because anything. water moves in the level. Uh, you actually, need to know the why. Water inside, water inside the level in the canal is uh, stationary. It isn't moving anywhere. It's not accelerating anywhere. He's, well, he's talking about his on. devices as far as the test goes. We're talking about the water level that he's so using in the test. So cold me all you want, because I'll be here all night, pal. Which definition of gravity are you using? 
please tell me it's irrelevant again, because that means your entire equation is irrelevant. No, it doesn't at all. I'm using the measured acceleration of gravity on the Earth. On a, on, on a still body of water, inside a, a still measure of water, and which definition of gravity are you using? I'm using the measure acceleration of gravity on the Earth. On a still, non-moving body of water. Now, please tell me which version of gravity you're using. The measured acceleration of gravity on the Earth. Please tell me which version of gravity you're using. And please tell me it's irrelevant again, because that is hilarious. The measure of the gravitational acceleration we experience on Earth. So the accelerating water inside this pipe, it's accelerating away all the time, is it? Or is it stationary and not moving anywhere? Please tell me what version... You tell me. Lift one end up. I'm does water you move? To claim. Does I'm water... I'm does water you. move? Does water move you. if you lift I'm one side up? Fine. Your claim does, is equation. It's <laughs> sorry. Does water again. move if you move if you pull one side up? Does water move? <laughs> you what? Say that again. Actually, no. The water. If you pull, move, the water pull one side up. In the pipe. Now, please oh, tell me which version of gravity you're using and stop trying to sidetrack and get away from it. Because clearly... I'm, I've am i already know. told you. The measured acceleration of gravity on the Earth. Out of that is what's you're being used. Drowning. You need to that is what is being used. You're using. That is what is being used. The measured acceleration of gravity on the Earth. Which version of gravity is that? The measure of it's gravitational acceleration find which on the version of gravity you're using. I'm using the measured acceleration of gravity on the Earth. I'm going to make a so cup of tea. Hopefully, this <laughs> this <laughs> word salad. Now tell me which version of gravity you're using. One, one Are you just going to keep yeah, repeating yeah. yourself after it I've answered you many times? Until you've answered the question, I will continue because you've avoided. I've answered. The I've answered the question. We are talking about gravity in an equation. Do not know, or it's irrelevant again. We are using an equation which uses the, effect. the measured <laughs> acceleration <laughs> of gravity it's, on the Earth. Which version of gravity would that be? I'll help him out. It's probably a little g. No, hang on. Hang on, but I've got proof of a big g. Stephen, do you want to see proof of a big g? I'm, I'm putting it up in chat. Do you want to see it? Stephen? Where's Stephen posting his stuff? He was talking about globes a minute ago. No he's there. posting it in the chat. Is he? Is he gone quiet what? again? Yeah, yeah. He's either yeah. checking his computer or something. He's something. gone for a sulky strike. Get help off Rumpus or somebody. Yeah, you know it. No, he's. I. This is a surveyor, or one of the surveyors, or one of the ones that pretends to be a surveyor. Yeah, but he don't know shit, Bev. I know they don't. <laughs> That's the whole point. They're, they're they don't learning. know. They don't know their own fucking model. He definitely doesn't know what oh, it is. What part of the model don't I know? Yeah. The model. What part of the model don't I know? You know, like any of it. Do you know any anything of about it. reality? Oh yeah, list something I don't know on the model. The model well, you've you've been reality. making a list. You've been making a list on your own all evening. I like I'm, May, the, the so model. Actually, <laughs> say something on the model that I don't know. <laughs> you don't know it's blood. Keep saying model, mate. Yeah, yeah. for a start. Yeah. <laughs> there you Make go. Sure. Don't the say accelerated... reality, whatever you do. You might trip up. Keep saying model. The gravitational acceleration on the Earth, <laughs> 9.8 meters per second squared. So there yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You... Okay, I'll say it for you. You're a non. Is that right. the acceleration right, of understand. water at a resting state? Curious. It's you're gonna a measured away acceleration. <laughs> it's an acceleration well, he's just of gonna... water. Uh, it, the answer is yeah. he didn't books himself, but he's already told it's us the truth. It's a measured acceleration it, on it Earth. What run. causes no, it, told... if not gravity? It's new I mean, what causes it, if not gravity? I wanted to go and make a cup of tea and yeah. come back and still... So I didn't miss anything. What causes it? 
if it's not grabbing, it's again, this is a charlatan. This is the definition of a charlatan. Yeah, we know. What we is know. it if it's we're, not we're, gravity? What's your explanation if it's not him. gravity? This is a ball of It's him. your claim. This is your claim. Yeah, it Tell has measured acceleration. Simple question for you. Tell us which definition of gravity you're using. There you go. Simple. Measured acceleration on the Earth is 9.8 meters per second squared. Is it a false? Gravity. Is it a false? Tell us which definition of gravity you're using. We get away from this. We were on about the water level. Like we've seen hang on, hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does, does he want to see his... I've found a... I found you a want to let him off the hoop with his gish gallop? Let him off. Let him off? No, 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 no. I'm not letting him off. Dude, I showed him up. I had to explain to everyone. I've told everyone. No, you don't have to. So it's fine. We can move on. He didn't want to tell us. I told us. Yeah, thank you. Fine. We'll use we'll a, we can level. use a general and definition you did, you did versus Newtonian did. or Einsteinian. Yeah, they, well, Call up an article which says Newton was wrong. It's dead yeah. garbage. Yeah, blah, see, blah, blah, blah. Who's got your interest? Who, who, who was it who made those um, claims about uh, Newton and Einstein? Who was it? Let me... If Newtonian gravity is not correct any longer, does that invalidate uh, gravity? Oh, come on. These are old does stale it? arguments, mate. Oh yeah, exactly, Bev. They're stale. old stale arguments. Yeah, that, exactly. And you still keep... Which version right? of gravity are you using? Please just define it. Simple. They can't because... They don't have one. Yeah, they can't S talk about it. Did he come up as with far as is on Earth? Did we agree on vertical? the force that attracts things towards the center? Did we agree on vertical mass attracting mass? Blah blah blah. You want to talk about Einstein, the bending of space time? Hey, it doesn't really matter in this context, Jeff. No, it would make believe, so did it we, doesn't really matter. Did we agree on vertical? So Yeah, I, I asked you to identify vertical on the sphere. What? Well, you, you, no, no you'd slip, you'd slipped away for a cup of tea yeah, to make you. No, to make no you I actually asked him to identify no, he vertical. Actually said, he actually said on the he's sphere going to make in a the cup chat. Yeah. He, he said he's going to make a cup of tea, and then you asked. He didn't hear right, because so he'd already gone. It's vertical and vertical uh, is perfect. He asked me to confirm vertical, and I responded right away with ident that I agreed with him, and he should identify mm. vertical and sphere that I posted in chat. So sorry, George, but no. Sphere, you <laughs> whatever. In chat. It'd be at the top probably because he was making a cup of tea. Is. He was making what, a cup of tea. What is the top it. sphere? Whereas I, I can't see a sphere in chat. I can't see a sphere either. No, you must like, be did somewhere. you delete it or something? What sphere is that? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, that oh, that oh, right. That's why I didn't Have see no it. Sphere. Oh, it wasn't even That's there. That's reality, that. Yeah, see that bit right at the top? See that line that goes right down that you've cut? That one. That's vertical. That's the only thing that's vertical? Yeah, on that, but that ball, yeah, that's the vertical line. Isn't it? That's that's what is, vertical is. That is. The only, very, is that the vertical only vertical is on a that? very definite position in reality, isn't it? Is that the one that goes up? And yeah, then also bar. down. You just, you just hold it. Yeah, yeah, up, up and down, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's the just same, isn't it? Vertical yeah. line. Yeah. Yeah. So you're saying that the only vertical on that sphere is that dot at the top? Well, no, that, yes, that vertical position, is. yes. It can slice all the way through it, but that vertical position will always be vertical. Yes. All the way through it, from the top so, to the all bottom. All the way through? Yes. So the, the, the point on the bottom, then, is also vertical? The point all the way through it, a vertical line dropped all the way through that. Yeah, vertical. One like straight it, so line. You can they're, if you put it so on they're a stand, saw, that means they're at opposing it, slices, and they will all be vertical because that's what vertical is. So a very definite position. If I do a line reality. up, and I, if I do a line out of that sphere up through that dot at the bottom, pointing out from the sphere, both of those are vertical. That's what you're saying. Like a vertical line, yes. 
that would is be it, vertical. Can I just add, is it is it one line? Yeah, it's, it's vertical line. You know what you're saying? Through it. Yeah. So I'm just trying to keep up. Yeah. Right, well, you, we're, it's so we have anything else, were you? Well, you you now have opposing sides showing both showing vertical. No, I don't. I, like a vertical line, like I said, is a very definite line in reality. Like at no point ever does a vertical bend at 90 degrees to itself. It doesn't happen ever. But Bev, you just said if we've got pointing through the dot at the top, that's vertical. And then at the opposing end, pointing through down at the bottom there, that is also vertical. Yeah, a line all the way hanging at the top would go if it so, went all the way through that thing and it was vertical then there would be a vertical line all the way through that ball yeah so if we have a person standing at both ends then then well, one's what? upside down Sorry? versus the other and they're Sorry? both vertical that's what that's you, what you're saying you saying you can <laughs> get somebody to stand on the underside of that ball so oh, I'd like to see that's that. That's what would happen you, if you show us that. that. Let's put said. something that on is, the surface. Let's put some. What you said. Let's put Velcro on yeah, their feet. Yeah, that, that is let's put something said. on the surface, Bev. Let's not put a, a person. Let's just put the same item on the surface on both ends. Really? You can so, do that, can you? Show us it. You, you just said you just said a vertical bottom. line goes all the way through, and you could stick out both ends, and they would both be vertical. Yeah, well, they're opposing each other. It's a ball, isn't it? Wasn't that a sphere that we were just looking so, at? So, it's, it's amazing, ball. Bev. You start, you're starting to figure things out now at how it works on the globe. What? Well, you just said that at opposing ends, standing, I mean, essentially opposite to each other, they're both vertical points. That was, that was a sphere we were talking about there, wasn't it? That's right. A geometrical shape. Yeah. Yeah. And... What, are you going to imagine you can stand on that geometrical shape upside down? You could put something, you could put something <laughs> on there. Him. Alex, right? can I ask you a question? Have you ever used a level? Like a spirit level? Yes. You have. Go, look, the, the blue one's inside, the red one's outside. It's the same line all the way It's through. the same line, absolutely. It's a yeah. vertical line. It goes vertically. It goes up and down from is, top to bottom. Is there any way you could draw another vertical line just to the left of that and to the right of it? Just to show him what a vertical line looks like. Cause... I can draw vertical lines all the way across that page yeah, yeah. if you want me to. Yeah. Do, you, do you want them in the same colour or do you want them in different colours? Uh, what do you reckon? Uh, the, the same colours are easier. But in which, which do you reckon would help? Multicolored. Uh, it'll take longer, Bev. Oh well, yeah, just the same colour. Just uh, you, uh, you only really need to do two more lines on it, don't two you? Two more just, lines. Yeah. yeah, I can do that. I can do that. No worries. Well, what colours would you like? Do you want one on one side red, the other on the other side blue, or what's your favourite colour, Steve? What's your favourite? What's your football team? Do you have a football team? No, I don't think you would. No, they do soccer over there, aren't they? No, I don't think yeah. you have a soccer team. No. no. What's your, what's your favourite yeah, colour? No. I'm, what's your, what's I'm, your favorite a, I'm a man. I'm a. I happen oh. to be a Man U supporter, so I'm sure some people in here will hate <laughs> oh, me just for that. Man United. <laughs> yeah. well, I, grew, I grew up Glory in North Hunter. America. All they ever showed was Man United. All right, yeah. No wonder. That's, you have to live. You don't have to live anywhere near Manchester. To be a man, you know, hey, don't, fan, you know. well, they, yeah. don't worry, they Bev. They reckon that 95% of Man United else, supporters either. have never been to a game. Yeah, I, I could believe that because they, they're the only ones that they showed internationally back then. But my family grew up to be Spurs supporters. <laughs> oh, right. oh, dear. You know. That's even worse. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what happens when half the family grows up in, in the area. And they're you, the know, you know, team, they... So. they Supporters over here, they call them dildos. You know that, don't you? <laughs> I'm pretty sure every team has some choice names used for them. Oh, yes. 
Anyway, back to your vertical lines. Which colours would you like? There's one on the left, one on the right. Turn it into a St. George cross. Why not? But that wouldn't be vertical then, would it? No, we that'd just be need, that'd like need a horizontal. Depend, wants, depends like, on your point of reference. Just to. turn it sideways, and then it would be vertical. What? The picture then, that you supplied. But then supplied. the initial vertical wouldn't be vertical, would it? No. So like we just no, it, it wouldn't. You what because vertical is like it. Yeah, no yeah, but the end. You you ask Bev what a vertical is on this on this picture you've supplied. So we're showing you what verticals right. are on on the picture you've supplied. So, so change the orientation of yeah, it, but then, then. Does it change but, the vertical? But then the line I've already drawn won't be vertical any longer, will it? And now you understand how the globe model says it works. What? Yeah, no. You're in the picture, <laughs> no. Have you? No. Yes, Bev. Everybody is at the you top for them, so verticals are up. all over it. Don't get your hopes up. Uh, have you ever done that log rolling? You know, where you get on water and you're like on top of it and you just keep spinning it underneath. Yep, like that. Mm. I've done it. It's hard as hell. Yeah. That's what we're all doing, essentially, on a globe. On the, in the well, you, you got you got 7.6 billion people live on the top of the globe. So Antarctica, or, uh, Antarctic must be jammed, packed. No, we all just think that we're on the top. Seeing as all of the no, 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 you, well. you just think you're on the top. But to your perspective, you are on top. Well, yeah, because a flat plane doesn't have a top, does it? A flat plane does have a top. <laughs> you're standing on the top of a flat plane, mm, and then standing, underneath you would be the bottom. Standing on the surface of a flat plane. That's the first honest thing you've ever said. We're all stood on a flat plane. I completely agree with you. Yeah, thank you. Problem is, observation doesn't match a flat plane. That's the issue. Which that's your issue, and that's your claim. Which yeah, it's your claim, pal, and we don't see any curvature, because it ain't there to be seen. Well, you can be shown curvature. It just depends on whether you understand which, what you're looking at. Which, which observations? <laughs> which gravity was it you were using again? <laughs> which observations, Bev? I don't know. Long distance photography. Go on, That's show an us easy some, one. Show us some. Um, Remember, I showed you the Jay what? Tolans no, yesterday. You keep, you keep oh, saying. Is, are you are you the stuff. guy that put the ruler up against the the computer screen? No. No, that's not. Oh, you know I'm who sure, that is, I'm though, sure don't it is you? you. I'm you sure that me. is you. Oh, that's Jeff, though, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Put a ruler on a computer screen. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, see that one? Come on, was that the one you were going to show us? This, this so is these, the one I posted. These are the people whose best proofs of globe spinning Earth, right? He's a painter and decorator from Blackpool. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and Bob. Bob Nodell. And Sodley's Bridge, which is the most ridiculous load of shite you've ever, 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 ever seen. So there's the best proofs that these ballers have got in 2,000 years. It ain't very good. You see, can you see that one? That... Aaron claims to be a surveyor, and he says, no matter where I stand, there is always eight inch of drop in one mile in all directions. What do you reckon to that? That sort of goes along with what you it's were saying about the your water level model. Thing. That's the model, is it? And because that it's it the is. model, like, you go along with it because it's the model? No, you base it on observations. So that's an observation, I, is it? Bev, can I ask a question, please? Yeah, yeah, go. Alex, this picture you just posted, where's the curve? Well, do you have another explanation for why half of the mountain is not visible? Okay, can you explain the picture exactly how you see it? This photo, 
is overlaid over top there, which you can see kind of in a blue highlight with the city across it. And it's overlaid with the actual mountain, the full mountain, if it was seen where you were standing match them up and see how much was actually missing when the photo was taken so there you go where what's hiding more than half or half of the mountain i forget the actual feet that's hidden but what's hiding so, it where's the buildings at the bottom so is the mountain before the blue portion in the back or is the mountain uh behind it no so the there's two images overlaid. Where are the buildings? Now, the so you can images? visualize how much of the mountain is missing. Where are the buildings in the bottom image? There are no buildings in the bottom image because the buildings from the city are much, much closer. So the, the church of the mountain then where that city is. That city actually isn't at the base of the mountain, which you actually, can tell that by... Actually, was doctored and got debunked. That was the... You, yeah, the, I was, the I was old, just going to say this. You got... Of, which ab didn't actually match up. Absolutely no reference with this. All we got yeah. is your word that... Which is bollocks. Got yeah. floating buildings. Oh, s yeah. sorry. What? It's bollocks now? What? The mountain that your, I used your, is no, not your accurate? Word. Bring your forward word. full claim of what you've got. Because that... I remember this from quite a while ago. And the way it was done wasn't correct anyway. It just looks like... The it was, was a flat earther. Building. A flat earther took the picture, guys. A flat no, earther took the picture. the picture. It was a problem. It was the manipulation that certain other people did after it. Which, by no, the way... The, that is taken right from his video. That is taken right from his video. There's no manipulation link, to link that. The video. Oh, you well, just said there was something no... overlaid. Was there something overlaid or not? It, it's obvious His picture is... Played some, so that's not the original and it is manipulated. I rest my case. Holy fuck, are you serious? Are you that stupid? Oh, it's man. his picture overlaid over top of the actual you mountain. How can you be that Don't ignorant? Me like that, you ignorant. I can hey, man. give oh, one ignorant. Message ignorant. me your address. Please, message me your address. Your I will come and visit you the next time I'm over there. Oh come on! I will come okay, and visit you, no problem. Because you run like you. I can visit you, no problem. No bed. I'll visit you, no problem, right. and you can show me what all it right. is when I get all there. All right, big man. You'll visit me. Don't worry. I'll yeah, I'll you. visit you. No, no, bed. No, no. no problem. I'm not going to shy away from you. Yes. Message me your address. I'll let you know oh, the next time oh, I'll be in town. We can on. we can have a visit. Keyboard what do you mean? Warrior. I mean, come, come on. on. Let's carry on with the conversation. I'm not using a keyboard, Bev, it's and it's I'm it's serious. It's if he wants, if he's really upset with what I said, I'll see him in person. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Send me a P PM me your address. So I'll let you know oh, the next no, time I'll be no, in the Steve. area. Steve, yeah, yeah. give it up. Give it up, mate. We all know. We all know you got no spine, so. I just said yeah, he can message me his address. Bang, oh hell, I'll message him my bang, address. Bang. Oh, oh, no, no one's gonna be going, going anywhere. You know, it's just like no one's Stop gonna be going anywhere. Stop beating your chest. If he has a problem with what I said, so where, where we I will meet him in person. Like no this, problem. Um, so scared to run away from. What 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 point were we at? Uh. We were just telling him what a oh. lot of shit his picture is. Oh, right, we were on the vertical. Yeah, he, though, they can't understand what that picture is. Understanding the vertical. Did you do that? Oh, way? that's right. Oh no, no. I was no, Bev. I didn't. I, I. I had no problem with the vertical. I didn't disagree with what you guys were saying were vertical. Yeah, I said the, the change the orientation. One, the next one will show you a bit more. What what we yeah, mean sorry, by Bev. vertical, and and then. We, we can then progress from there. Did we make? Did we decide what colours it was going to be? He wanted a French flag sort of colour design. I think I don't know why, but yeah, he wanted French flag. Yeah. French flags, horizontal lines. Well, you know, but Italian, aren't we doing vertical? Italian then. Yeah, I hope Italy's that way. I don't know. I'm rubbish at that sort of stuff. 
I have no issue with what you were saying was vertical bev. So we got another. Oh, I'm I'm just going to do blue ones. I can't be bothered to fuck around. So, and what the point? What we, George had done was just fine. The point what we're getting to is that vertical is a very definite position, right? Uh, and and you know what it's not. Yeah, it's not curved, is it? That you we know. can agree that that one line, if any. Is a straight line, right? Steve? A vertical. Sorry, that, that line that he put through there is a straight line? Yeah, a it was vertical, a straight line. A vertical, vertical line vertical. is a straight line. Right? It doesn't bend ever. Right? And then, in reality, it, you could say it is what the position that a plumb bob is right as used by practically used yep. by builders and stuff to keep uh, walls going vertically right yeah and and surveyors say that plumb lines are not parallel parallel well let's but let's they're just, still vertical let's deal with a vertical line right it is straight definitely yes Geometrically as well, because that's what we're dealing with here. We're, we're trying to end up with proofs at the end of this, right? And so we, we yeah. use geometry. We we state at the beginning we're going to use Euclidean geometry because that's what everybody understands, right? Straight lines are straight, and you have angles and triangles at three, four, five, and right angles and whatnot, and. We can understand what a perpendicular is. So a vertical is a very practical use and a very practical position that is um, defined by what a plumb bob does practically. True. Which is a local, which well, is a it, local it, device. I don't, you yeah. Call it so it establishes you want. vertical on a low at a local. But we're talking geometrically Point. here. So when you talk locally, you do realize that we can extend a, a terminated line indefinitely in a straight line because we're talking geometrically, right? Right. right. So okay. when it pokes out the other side, it's also going to be vertical. And that yeah. is completely fine when you're on a sphere. Well, you are, no, you don't get on a sphere. But I mean, like if you put a line, see that line there? See them two purple lines? Nice colour, I like purple. Yeah, yeah, I thought it'd be different. Them, them two purple lines are also vertical. Now, if you tilt that ball in any they... direction, them lines won't be vertical. Those purple lines are not perfectly vertical if you're using the surface of the sphere to determine that. You don't use the surface of a sphere to determine a vertical. A vertical is what a plumb bob... It depends if it's in reality. And yeah, we're talking about the Earth and whether it's flat or it's a globe, right? Yeah, ge geometrically, a vertical line is what... A, like, in, in reality, it is what a plumb bob does. True? Which is, if we're talking... Bev, we're just if talking the about Earth... A and I'm saying if... If the Earth is a globe, then vertical will be different in each location. That doesn't. That's work all I'm saying. Metrically, so because we can, we can the, do it's do a you sphere. Want to formulate that into a um, modus tollens, or do you want to try a modus ponens on it? Do you know much about logic? Did you like the logic that I posted for you the other day? I don't know. Like, I was just asking you one question. Are you are you asking a different Remember? question? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you well, keep I... saying that you've posted stuff. And like, as yet, yeah, I don't think you've ever been telling the truth. So you can keep the... saying all of that sort of stuff. And it doesn't really mean anything now. Now, do you know much about Remember, it was logic? based upon your talk with McToon. It was based based upon your talk with Mattoon, oh, Mattoon, oh. about the horizon McToon. needing to, yeah, yeah, how the horizon, if the Earth was flat, 
the horizon would be eye level or above at all times. Remember that? Sorry. State, state again. Hello, it's going. Are we going somewhere? Is this. Are we still sticking on the water level, are we? we you no, know, we were dealing with vertical, and then we got we into the. We about if, basic logic, and you seem to be running away from Right, and I just reason. did logic based no. upon your conversation with McToon. You did some logic, did you? Go on, then. I'm always interested to listen to it logic is flat. from a globe. The horizon would always Sorry, raise to off? eye level or above. Should we, are we gonna, I think I might be calling on Emma here. Can you start again, please? Logic, formulate it for me, please. In a logical statement. If the earth is flat, the horizon P. Sorry, do you, would do you raise to eye level or above at all times. Yeah. The above comes into play because of refraction. Is it, Emma, you, you're going to get the meme, or should I? Oh, oh, it's in here somewhere. I have to find it. I can put it in the memes. Right. If the Earth is flat, there's that. You start in one. P. Antecedent. So are you negating, you're saying, if there were no mountains and valleys? No, the, the mountains and valleys and stuff don't affect the horizon. They, they do negate well, flatness, though, don't they? So can we say... No, well, they don't really negate... They do, they do not negate flatness, because that's... Yes, if we do. can't see the horizon... Sure. They also no, negate they the do horizon. not. They, topography they, they, uh, is, has nothing to do with the shape of the Earth. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> no, it is not. Yes, it is. Confused, mate. You... It isn't. It is the shape of oh, the Earth. Yes, it is. I, I missed what he said. What did he no, say? No, the topography yeah, the is not is the not shape the of the Earth. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> you heard it here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've heard lots here today. <laughs> I think he's been... Uh, you've been coached by the main surveyor, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. Is that right? Or is it Aaron? Or, or Do you or guys Jesse? really think that topography is, has anything to do with the shape of the planet? I think the topography Listen, is exactly it. what I'm stood on do. the I'm stood on the side of an hill. I'm looking towards the horizon. I can't see the horizon for the hill. Do you think the hill's made a difference to where the horizon is? The, the, the hill, the hill doesn't affect where the horizon is. The, the hill has it does when you can't horizon. see it because the horizon is the apparent... No, it doesn't. The horizon is in the same position whether you can see it or oh, not. It's a geometric horizon. Really? It's a geometric horizon. Maybe it's time you get the black swan out. So, it certainly is. Ooh, well, let's bring it out because he just oh, said that refraction, refraction, oh, raises <laughs> things above, <laughs> refraction raises things above eye level. This is going to be get quite interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's I didn't say that. I sorry, said that's... that if the Earth was flat, yeah, right, the horizon would at sorry. times you raise know, above your eye argument level. On a flat Earth, it would either be at eye level or above eye level. No, so no, correct. No, no, yes. You then no, said, you said it, it would be above raise. eye level. You said then it'd be above eye level due to refraction. So I think we should bring out the black swan. Yeah. Uh, well, I I only did the piece. How many because... hours afterwards? Hey. Steve, Steve. By how many Steve, people? I did the P. By none. You got P wrong, right? I was working on my way on to Q because you, you failed on P, but your Q was I the, what, the, would rise to eye level. Some sort of level would rise to eye level. The horizon. Would rise. And I didn't fail on P. Would rise. Is that what you said? Yes, so if you elevated yourself in order for the horizon to stay at eye level, it would be raising itself. So that's right, what so that's you, referring to. You think the higher you get, the higher the horizon. Because there are no mountains and valleys, then the water level would rise to your eyes. Is that your logical statement is? The horizon. Yes, yeah. the horizon. That is the, the level of the water 
sending out from the sea level, right? Extending out. You expect that to rise? Do you? If the, if the Earth is flat, Bev, the, uh, then the a level horizon would will always rise. be at eye level. Then a or level above. will rise. Is that what you're saying? The horizon. Welcome and you can geometrically Earth. show why welcome, that is the case, Welcome Bev. to Flat Earth, because what you've just described is in the BMLS video. <laughs> welcome to Flat uh, Earth. Your yeah, the horizon doesn't your raise the... the as right. just your own mode is tall. The horizon the doesn't raise the eye level. That's the problem. Your problem is the horizon does not raise the eye level. No, it does not. I'm sorry, but it doesn't. Behind this door, we have an uninformed ignoramus on ladder. Right. Well done. It does not. Watch Bev's video with Welcome McToon, to and you're going to see, you will see how the horizon does not raise to eye level. Well, sorry. To Is that the apparent horizon or the uh, geometrical horizon? He won't answer that one. And... Well, it could be the geographic horizon. Yeah, a level. <laughs> what did I say? How get, many rises? Oh, you, you said geometric. How many rises do we have? Steve. How many people do we have? You've gone shy again. How many rises do we have? I don't know. What's the population? Seven point six billion, something like that. <laughs> Everybody's yeah. got their own personal horizon. An infinite number of horizons. An infinite number. Does everybody have their own vertical as well? I'm really glad you everybody said that. Everybody has their own vertical, An infinite yes. number of horizons. Welcome to Flat Earth. <laughs> you really don't understand how the globe works, do you? You really don't understand basic logic, do you? Oh, we I understand know how basic logic, Bev. Yeah. He's too wrapped up in his model. The geometric horizon would that be? The globe's oh, geometric oh, horizon, which you never see. Can you tell me how you measured something that you never see? So the local horizon called the geometric horizon, that's local. what you want me to talk about? That's what your model must you, have. Do you have one? Do you have an apparent or geometric? Each. Which one is it? Don't, don't My local it. horizon is ge ge geometric horizon. Can you show it to us, please? Point us to it. Well, I don't actually. I, I, everything's blocked. I can't get a good picture to show oh, you. Do you have, the have horizon. an apparent? Do you, do you have a geometric or apparent? Isn't everything refracted so you can't actually see it? Don't lead him. Believe it. He's going to hang himself because he has to make a decision one way or the other, and he can't do it. Well, I'd have to go out and determine how much refraction, if any, there is right now, wouldn't I? How do you do that? Do you have a refraction meter? Bev McToon went over that oh, in your McToon. debate with him. He well, did, you, right you, at the start. No, no McToon... Can, can you let me know? McToon um, did not take into consideration any perspective on the lake photos. Completely ignored perspective and Mc, drop due McToon to perspective. McToon talked he about also, how refraction he was also measured. completely ignored refraction. Shout out, McToon. Which makes it impossible to see anything <laughs> according to the ballers. Shout out, retractive. He didn't... No, Shout they, out, McToon. What does... Yeah, what does refraction do? What what does refraction do? Does it make things more visible on on the globe, less visible on the globe, more visible on flat Earth, less visible on flat Earth? The geometry. What do you think refraction does? It depends which type does of refraction it, you're talking about. Geometry. It? George. 
because you were, you were talking about the geometric horizon. So does refraction alter geometry? Here, Bev, do you want to listen to McToon tell you or no? Have you, have you got something you want to share? No, I'm just asking, do you want me to show that McToon talked to you about how to measure refraction? How? What did he say? And does it alter the geometry of your geometric horizon that you just claimed no. a moment ago? No, your geometric horizon would be based upon the actual measurements. If you want which, to say that we're not is, on a globe, which is which, which? What's the measurement for the uh, that you're using for the refraction, please? Or the measurement? Are, are you lost? No, I'm horizon. asking you what measurement you're using for your refraction. Uh, I was talking about the geometric horizon. Okay. So the, right. The okay. Which we never see apparently due to refraction. Your feet, and that would be. Have you measured yeah, that you're always water. seeing refraction be, or that what, you have time to be horizontal? That would be, that would be the what, line what, what, defined what, 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 or the I'm, plane No, I just asked you if you've ever done the measurement. Is, 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 is so it seven over six R? From your feet would go out towards I'm horizon. asking if you've ever is measured it. Have you? Yes or no? Depends. Seven over six R, yes or no? There's different situations where you might have strong, so weak. Presupposition. How about of R. how about polar refraction, or how about refraction over a water? Presupposition of R. Uh, do you know how R has been measured? A presupposition of R, which has never been proven. R has been measured. Been all you right. Has he got it on his website? R no, has it. been measured. He's got his, on his website. Really? So we are not by yes. looking at the geometric horizon? No, R's... What did Mr. Sensible say about that? That's, that that's really interesting. It's been measured from orbit. Have you got some proof of that? And was the atmosphere involved in that at all? You know, something called refraction? Air has no shape. Curious. From orbit, <laughs> what's one of them? What's an orbit? It's a chewing gum, mate. Uh -huh. <coughs> it's a mathematical concept, isn't it? I think straight line that returns to a point. You're not you go into the orbit, then, Bev. I know you staying down here. No, I'm staying down here. I'm waiting for I'm staying on the water level. I'm here on my canal. I was going to say, get a canoe, get a canoe and go down the canal and where do you reckon well, I'm at the highest? Right, Bev, you've got to plan your route these days because you don't want me paddling uphill, mate. I know, always downhill on my canal, that's right, isn't it? <laughs> Stay. Oh yeah, and me. Yeah, we're doing, we're doing this test. But I mean, that's the that was what we were meant to be working, right, Steve? We were meant to be working out what the water level test was going to prove, one way or the other. But you seem to obfuscate lots and lots and lots. Yeah, yeah, and more than that. No, Bev, you need. I was trying to explain to you that you're going to need something to verify that it's horizontal in relation to each other. Then we got into a discussion about the problem with gravity, and it went off the rails. You've got a problem with it, have you? What's your problem? No, with you gravity? do because gravity is what's affecting the water in but your device. Didn't we, def yeah. didn't we have vertical? You, you could as make being... up your mind which gravity you were talking about. Yeah. Remember the I said the definition was irrelevant. We, we, yeah, yeah you, we you agreed said gravity is irrelevant. That's right, didn't yeah. we? No, I did not say that. Yeah, we did. We agreed on vertical. Anyway, that Bev, the test looks interesting, but as I said, you need something like a device so that you can see 
over the entire distance to verify that each end are in, are in relation to each other. Do you have much um, experience in surveying? Or do you do you think? Do you? Do, yeah. Do that you wasn't think, the question he asked you. you. Why are you avoiding all the questions? Do you think you'd be qualified? Why would I have to when he's the one doing the test? Well, he asked you a straightforward yes or no. It wasn't an open-ended question, was it? It was George, a closed question. It was a closed George, question. George, is he the one? Do yeah. Is he, he the one doing the test? George, yes that's a close. No. Hey, no, George, George, closed George question. Is, is Bev the one George, doing the George, test? George is doing George it. Going as well, yeah. George is coming. We decided that earlier. We he's having one end. He's looking. At the test at one end. So, yes, yeah, but he's he's, he's looking locally. Yeah, yeah. That's how a water oh, level he's works. He's looking locally. Yeah, exactly how so, water works. So how much works. how much surveying experience do you have, just as a matter of interest? Very minimal from a long time ago. But you would so, say none. You would say that a surveyor would be... The no, not most... none. As I said, it's minimal from a long time ago. Who would be the most qualified and able to enact this test? Should we do it to establish that the water I... level is horizontal? I think you should look at the tools that you can use to who, determine that. Who would you say... And then do it yourself. The ...best qualified to judge whether it is a good test or not a valid test if you use not. oh if you want somebody to take a look at your test who, who go to any you? surveyor and ask them what kind of equipment or tools so you should use to verify that it's person. horizontal yes so we should talk to surveyors that is the type we? of person you would want to talk to brilliant because I, I because they're going to tell all, you that you that you want to I accept a, all equipment. surveyors if they want to come and talk to me about this water level test they can come can't they Stephen you you that's what I guess you're they can suggesting they should do shouldn't they I'm suggesting that they would be the ones to say hey Bev if you want to determine this you're going to need this tool or this they, tool. They'd be much better qualified than, than you to say that as well, wouldn't they? So what what would you be qualified in talking about then, Stephen? He can't even provide citations, Bev. A citation for what, George? anything well for your geometric definition which you never actually provided about two hours ago well i did there? i uh, twice uh, george by going silent <laughs> put it in the chat and i told you at the time yeah. that you probably wanted to put your headphones back on did he did he put it in chat mm. As you probably no. it, it won't be this chat it's some chat somewhere else yeah, some other server probably. On a, on a model somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Bev, yeah. if it was my suggestion, you'd get a theodolite with you so that you could verify did that you, it was horizontal did you see oh, did you see across the, the did distance. You see my did, you see the way, did you see the way he sidestepped that as well, yeah. Bev, just yeah. then? Oh, I say, class. Did you see my <laughs> level, Stephen, earlier when I said I, I took a picture of something and said, yeah, What's that? yeah, I did. Right, that's a level. Bev, but that is a low. What are you going to do with that? How long of a distance or is that like Stephen, accurate over? Stephen, you, you've already said you don't know much about levels, but can you tell me the difference between? No, that I said I understand level that and a theodolite. What's the difference? How are you going to use that, Bev? You need to. I asked you if you had the steps what? for your test, the methodology, and everything what for your test. You said yes, you do. Between one of them and a theodolite, please. What? What? Uh, device did you post again? I don't even remember. It was a dumpy level. 
<laughs> 32 times. An auto level? Was it an auto level? Yeah, dumpy. You could call it a dumpy level? <laughs> Is it funny? <laughs> it's... All, all the differences in words can be funny. Never heard that before. Okay, what's the difference between one of them and a theodolite, if you can tell us? Because you should know, really. You should be rolling off your tongues, because you know quite a bit about surveying, right? Well, an auto level, obviously, is for leveling. Yeah. And what's the theodolite? And the theo theodolite oh, well, well, is used to measure is... the oh, horizontal hold on, hold on, and vertical hold on. angle. Two seconds. Auto leveling isn't. That, that doesn't actually describe what it does. It no, I just said it was point. used, obviously, for leveling, is what I said. Yeah. yeah it doesn't auto level, does it? I didn't it say that. Okay. So it, it's there. To anyway, so a theodolite is for right? angles, Bev. Yeah. yeah it's, a yeah, theodolite, yeah. horizontal and vertical angles. Yep. Yeah. So we're, we're now only, you can we're, use. We're only interested in level, though, aren't we? Because we're establishing a level along the side of a canal. So we only need a level. We don't need to know so, a vertical angle, do we? If it's level, it's level, right? That's what a level's you could, for. What? Specifically horizontal, just one. Bit like a water level. A water level doesn't work vertical, just works the horizontal. Same as a plumb bob. Plumb bob doesn't help you with level. You need a plumb bob for vertical. The two independent tools. A theodolite is just a um, a scope that you, you can, can you can you can get a vertical from a a, a water level. Bev. Perpendicular. Perpendicular. <laughs> You're right, Steve. So does Steve talk about surveying online then? He, yeah, well, he's one of these Twitter people that just gaslight for like a year telling me I'm mad, thinking oh, the right. level's horizontal. Oh, so he doesn't... Have, so he... Is he giving you... Surveyors, oh yeah, yeah. He's points been, of view. He's been telling me I'm wrong for like a year, and then he comes here. I see. I didn't know that. He comes here. No, I didn't know that. He's, uh, he's quite knowledgeable. Do you not think? He's doing. Yeah, but he's never really used levels though. No, they don't. And, have well, a clue maybe what. long time ago. Yeah, they just um, they just know that I haven't got a clue about what I'm talking about. That's, that's oh, yeah, but, but but right. Whenever we ask him a question, all we get is. <laughs> oh, I knew you can wait, man. Taking ages. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> It was always quicker than that when I was doing Steve, it. You missed it. You had, look, how long? Is that time violation? Ah, uh, that must be an effect of gravity. Which gravity is that, though? He doesn't got a clue. Which he doesn't even know what it is. How do you spell it? Gerwer. Gerwer. At least we know it goes in a vertical direction, right? Because vertical. He's perpendicular to horizontal. He agreed. He agreed with that. Yeah, yeah. As I remember. Yeah. Yeah, but we could turn the horizontal or the vertical through ninety degrees, and it would still be vertical. You according can't to have, him. You can't. Well, have someone's a vertical is another man's horizontal. Yeah. On on the model. On the model, yeah. Steve. And and we we could. You got to turn your level round, haven't you? When you course. like get. On the Stand equator. on the bottom of yeah, the board as well. You just you you can tell when you're halfway there because when you dangle your plumb bob 
goes to 45 <laughs> degrees. <laughs> <laughs> that's what, you know, the level, sometimes you get like the horizontal and you get the vertical and the 45. Maybe that's what that is. Yeah. yeah. Like when you're between the equator. You're halfway. <laughs> yeah. Halfway to the equator. <laughs> that's a meme there. Yeah. So when when your plums dangle oh, at forty five, you're halfway there. I oh, see. No. Oh, run down. away. Oh. That was fun. Oh, that was brilliant. Yeah, you're I enjoyed all that. Picking on him. <laughs> you oh, blew a, he never had a chance to say his point, and you were muting him, always talking over him. 